shit. We forgot to. Oh, this is not good. Oh, oh there is. Don't win. It is not. Good. Holy Jesus. Oh, let me call Quinn so he can bring some tape. All right, here comes the cavalry, walking up with the uh, gorilla tape and the smiles because they know this sucks. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh. I'm glad it didn't totally like. Yeah. Yeah. It hit well, hard. The roof stopped, dude. I mean, look at the freaking dents the three ridges put on this. Those three ridges. Oh, it did hit. Oh yeah. Yeah, so. it's not like he stepped on it and then kept on going. Like, we literally just hit it and then. Really, Quinn? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell am I supposed to do? I'm gonna grab the tape. Then you got the put that on right here. Well, yeah, we'll, I don't have a it, choice now. We'll back to the shop and then. We'll yeah, I'm gonna it. idle back to the shop. Are you kidding me? Yeah. All right, take the car. I'll walk back in case we see you pop again. We'll just laugh at you from way far away. All right, so now is the worst moment, which is we gotta call Evan and tell him. We gotta call mom and dad. Oh, I wouldn't call Mickey. Let's let him come in. He's having a good day. No, he's in vacation. Let's, uh, let's have him come in. And... It still looks good. He's in the dentist's office, so I don't <laughs> think he can answer. All right, he'll go back. Good. Hey, uh, something bad happened. What? Like, seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Remember how we had to take the hood thing before we went out? Mm -hmm. pull up the we hood. forgot to take the hood. Yeah, it's bad. It's pretty bad. So the hinges got jacked up, both fenders and the Jeez. hood. And the roof. Gosh. I wanna lift it. Did the hood fly up when you guys were driving? Oh yeah. And we were, if we weren't even going that fast, we were going faster, we would have ripped the whole thing off. We have taken additional measures to make sure that this hood stays down whenever we're doing our, our hard pulls in this thing. So, we got these peepers now. Nice little arrow latches. Ah. So, we can rest assured, we can drive assured, this thing is gonna stay in one piece. So now, we're gonna go onto the air system because now we wanna be able to drive at ride height and then be able to lay this thing down whenever we're parked to show it off. Let's go. We've been ripping around in this thing. It is drivable, but now we need some creature comforts and we need a little bit of management for the air suspension and the audio. Uh, I ended up installing all four speakers on the doors in the rear part of the uh, vehicle. We ended up installing all four tweeters and we actually ended up um, fabbing the center dash to fit our iPad with the sound man's kit and <laughs> all so that awesome. is done. <laughs> and the next thing to do is like try to fit everything you see here on this table because in reality, it's trying to take up the same space. And now we need to figure out how to display everything in the trunk. Uh, this is a custom enclosure made uh, specifically for the 350Z. We ended up putting two Combs VR uh, subwoofers in here. We got an audio control matrix, which this allows a single RCA unit that is gonna be coming out of the uh, iPad to be split into six channels. Four for the uh, four channel amp and two for the uh, D-Class amplifier, which is this for the subwoofer, this is for the highs on the vehicle. We wanna thank Sandman.co. They were the ones who sent us the Matrix, the four channel amp, 
and a lot of the little uh, kind of plug and play that's gonna pull the audio and uh, the power from the iPad so that the sound can go to this and the power can go to uh, just our 12 volt source for ignition. And we're gonna pull Mickey in to talk about all this air suspension stuff. We've got an AccuAir on board for this build. We, we've actually had them partnered up since we started this project. So this stuff's been sitting here for a while. Uh, it's now time to finally put the stuff in. Our AccuAir E-Level Plus system is gonna be paired with universal air suspension, air struts that we've had for months and months and months or years even at this point. Yeah. <laughs> um, super adjustable coilover style uh, bag over. And then uh, we're using the basically the Cadillac from AccuAir, which is the E-Level Plus system. What's really cool about that is that's actually gonna translate up to our iPad on the dash. We've got height sensors at all four corners. These sensors are always telling this where the ride height is. So if you throw uh, 50 pounds in the trunk or you put a passenger in your back seat, the ride's mm -hmm. automatically gonna go down because of the weight. These sensors send a message to this saying, hey, we're 8% lower than we're supposed to be and it automatically bumps air into those and brings those corners up. So auto leveling, which is really cool. You guys have seen it. We use this thing on pretty much most of the cars we build here. Yep. So at this point, there ain't nothing to it but to get this stuff tossed in, so. Let's get it done. There you go. Perfect. Beautiful. This is the problem. Everything is trying to take up the same space. So here we have our ax, our main and access porch for the uh, drive unit. So we cannot take this space unless we do some type of. Hey, you didn't call it an engine. Good job. I'm, I'm getting it. <laughs> I'm getting it. Oh yeah. So pretty much everything has to fit in here. Well, is what you're that's. Saying. Or ideally, well, everything, ideally but the, so. everything but the tank and the Oh, tank and we have, hold on, and two of these ones as well. What's that? This is the compressor what sends the air to the tank and from the tank it goes to the valve and from the valve goes to the airbag system. So two of these ones, that, all of this, cannot be here. Because that defeats the purpose of having access doors for the drive unit. So we need to figure out what stays here and what has to go somewhere else, and if it does go somewhere else, where? Ricky and I just got done running the height sensor wires on the underside of the carriage. I have the rainbow wires as they were calling it. It is the red, yellow, black, purple, those colors. I'm gonna go ahead and confirm which outlets from this fuse box in the cabin are switched and which ones are constant. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect our power wires so that we have uh, powers to the controller. Finished running 
power. We have some nice fuse block taps for the constant and then the ignition switched. And then we have a purple wire for the illumination. Uh, when you turn on the lights, it's gonna go ahead and dim down that uh, remote controller for the air system. Uh, so it's not blinding you at night. While I was doing that, Ricky went ahead and took care of some stuff. He uh, pulled apart all the split loom that comes from the factory. And once this is cleaned up, it'll be able, we'll be able to get the, uh, the trim panel in, because right now it's kind of blocking me from putting that trim panel in. We have some exposure, and then we'll be able to get these, these runners back in too. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm cutting a flush cut, flush mount hole for the controller to mount onto our sub box. So we are gonna go ahead and flush mount this AccuAir controller inside of here. We'll have just a little bit of a raise, but that is gonna save even more space inside of here. So we're replacing clips right now. We're putting everything together. Um, oh, we'll also finish installing the AccuAir ECU into the uh, the front of the subwoofer box. It's gonna look pretty cool. So it looks really good, dude. It looks sick when this box is right here. Boop, boop. The ECU is gonna be right here. All right, mad scientist, what are you doing? So the air compressor that I don't huh? have. Got it. All right, he's got his dumbbell. Uh, uh, let's show yeah, him over yeah, here. This is, the better, this is the better side we got figured you, out so far. See it, yeah. So as you can see, we have, we're gonna be mounting two of these 444 compressors that comes with the accurate system. And we don't want them inside the car because we don't want to hear the noises. So we're going to mount them outside the car. Right ahead, kind of like we did with the Eclipse. And we're going to mount it in an angle just like this. Okay. But instead of having two bolts only holding this thing, I actually cut this piece of metal. Probably going to end up welding it right about, wait, wait, right there. And then this is going to sit right on it using all four holes. So we're going to bolt it down and it's going to give us the angle we need to mount it. Okay, that's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna be working on. Ricky's over there uh, shaping some metal uh, for the compressor pumps to go in. While I am gonna go ahead and wire up these uh, four sensors for the height sensors uh, on all four corners. Hats backwards is, usually means that I'm poking my head up in the wheel wells currently. So we have made our brackets and we have our wires right here. We cut these to length and there's a three wire connector. I've already stripped one. I've, I've started to do the connector. I figured I'd show you guys what I'm doing. So at each of those, we're gonna be able to actually cut these to length and just do a new one of these connectors. We went ahead and ordered our replacement ones. It's just a three pin, crimp those and get these and it'll be perfect. We don't have to solder and, and shorten these and we don't have to all, or we don't have to spool up all this excess stuff. Um, we're just gonna be right to it. Uh, straight run, no splices or anything. Let me just go ahead and start doing that while Ricky does the stuff for the compressors. new connector with uh, new pins, no soldering points. All I gotta do is heat shrink all of that. And it's uh, like it's straight from the factory. All right, I'm gonna run some air lines and some electrical lines for these compressors up to where we're gonna have our inputs for the tank. So our compressor's down there. So we have some bulkheads that are coming through the subfloor that Ricky did. Hoses from the front and rear bags on the passenger side. This is our exhaust tube. This is just a placeholder. We have three of these that are gonna go right here. And then I have a uh, half inch that is going to come right here and that's the feed into our tank from our two compressors. Um, the combined air lines are gonna go to that. And then this is our uh, driver's side. All right, 
it is the next day. Yesterday we ran some of the airlines. I loomed up some of the 12 volt and we got the compressors grounded and power ran up to the battery location. So this morning, early before I grabbed this camera, I went ahead and mounted the air tank. We started cutting some hoses to length, but before we got any further, we figured we'd kind of show some of the progress so far. And then we're gonna let you guys see kind of the other mock-up and uh, setup of this tank. It looks really awesome in its location. Through the back window, you'll be able to see just just a little bit of the body color that we're gonna paint this air tank. And it's gonna be centered in there. This leaves plenty of room for the glass to close. And it's just sitting right on top of the sub box. So that is our, our tank with valves. Our two compressors are down underneath, uh, right behind the back wheels. Yeah, I have to wire both sides of the valve. So these valves gotta communicate with these valves and then it has to communicate with the ECU, which is, that's what this is for. This Dang, is, this that's is what I like nice. to see. And obviously we gotta make it look nice too. So I'm gonna be working on this. We already put the uh, the pressure sensor on and then Will's gonna finish the hoses. Yep. So we have uh, a big boy. We have a half inch feeding from our two compressors into the tank. And then of course we have our 3 8 valve controlled uh, exhaust as well as to the bags. And on this side, like Ricky said, he has his pressure sensor all the way in already. This is one of our this is one of our valve control harnesses, and then I've already done all three of the hoses over here. So let's get going. We'll set the camera down and just kind of let you guys watch this. Will, tell me what's going on. All right, so we just installed our second 12 volt battery. One is dedicated to the air system, one is dedicated to the chassis and uh, everything up front. Lights, tail lights, iPad, yeah, 12 -volt stuff. Yeah. blah, blah, blah. Yeah, <laughs> blah, blah. So now what we're doing is switching everything back on. We're gonna test the air system, actually. Yeah, uh, so everything is yeah. plumbed up. Here's the battery, here's everything in there. All the lines has been ran. And I think Will's about to crank on the car. Crank on the car. That's a, that's a good sign. And the pump should kick on any second now. Hell yeah, dude. Woo! We got it. That's it, baby. Couple of days worth of work. Maybe, maybe a week. <laughs> what happened here? Get pass off. A clipper break or what? I don't know. Is it bad? No. no. I'm just picking on you. Oh, you got that mount ready? Did you show that? Uh, I don't think Ricky did. No, but this is a nice little tray right here. That this is just gonna hide away. We're gonna have the app, so that's kind of, if you don't have your iPad in here. That's like the backup. Yeah, this is like the backup, and it's nice and hidden. What's cool is now you can download the app and actually do it from yeah. right from there. Okay, I'm gonna look up E-Level Plus while these things are charging. So dude, Hold on, bro, you gotta show that, Will. In case you're blind. In case you're Ricky. In case you're me. Check out the size of this remote. Bam! <laughs> Put your hands next to it. <laughs> it's a full hand remote. <laughs> I think it's cool, man. Oh, so yeah. you can go bigger and smaller. What I like is Yeah, you do not see your pressures on the actual, but once you have this hooked up, you're, I'm actually seeing 21 psi now. Oh, nice. That's on the tank, right? That's yeah. tank pressure, psi tank. So then once we start flying. There you go. Dang, it looks so sick Is lately. Front down. Is the front down? Oh yeah, front down. All right, we just got to the cold sack and I want to show you guys what we see. I have some light and where the car looks. What number is that, Will? What number is it on the oh, accurate? Number two. number two. Hold on, let me go to the other side. All right, so go to three. That's three. So as you can see, it's a very, and we use three to leave the driveway, right? Huh? We use three to leave the driveway? Yep. You got a pretty decent gap on both sides. Uh, go back to two. These are normal riding heights. And go to one. Ready? Yeah. 
This is one. Yeah. And Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Can you go forward in one? But yeah? I ain't turning. Right, no rubbing, no turning. Uh, but you can at least go forward. Yeah. So pretty much like if you pull up to a meet yeah. and you you already know you're going, you know you're straight, going straight, you can go to a one. Spot. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Back up to two. That's back up to two. Yeah. Perfect. This is so insane how there's no sound coming out of this thing. It looks like it should be very loud. We are back. We are over here at a secret location. This is a dead end road. Is it possible to take off really fast without traction control on? I'm gonna hit the toggle switch that says traction, traction control on. On or off? So now he's off. It's confusing. It, it does not change whether it says TC off or on. It just throws it like you toggle the switch here. So let's figure it out right now. We'll figure yeah. it out. All right. So this is the toggle switch green for on right there. Okay. And this is the last time that I broke traction. That was like this. So I think this. Oh, uh, let's see. I've never seen it, so I actually want to see it, and I want you guys to enjoy it as well. So let's see what this. Hold on. All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> I don't know if that's dust or <laughs> burnt tires. So what do you think? It definitely spun the wheels. <coughs> um, yeah, it definitely spun the wheels. There's a lot of dirt. I, 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 I can smell both. I can smell burnt tires and I can also uh, smell the dust in the air. So I want to take off from right here where it's not as dusty. Okay. And see if it does the same thing. All right, let's do it. Well, as you can see, you see this? You left the mark all the way from over there to, oh. to here. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh, hey! <laughs> all right, three, two, one, go. Dude, that's freaking fast. And that's with no traction whatsoever. This is still like super dusty. Jesus, look at this. Sorry if I'm shaky, but. Damn. Right here. Bro, this thing rolled from here all the way to where you stopped at. Yeah. That is a rush. There is no like let up to shift or anything. It's just it just goes the entire way. This is and super the, safe. The whole way you're like, oh gosh, because it lines up in the front. We don't have as much weight in the front. Right, right, so right. So I'm sitting there like it's it's very subtle movements you need to make in the steering wheel. Luckily this is a manual rack, so right. I can't really overcorrect easily. But that is a rush. Holy cow! Can you go to one? <sighs> what? Go to one. Maybe go to one. Let's lay it down. Lay the car down on the Acura system. That's fine. There it is. That's why, okay, back up all the way. Traction control on. I want to see the difference on this thing well, taking off. Well, the traction control on toggle switch is now off. What that okay. means, I don't know. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Oh, well, back it up. Let's go to the same exact spot. Stop! Right there. Make sure you're on drive. Three, two, one, go. That was definitely traction control off. <laughs> that was the opposite. These marks are way thicker now. Way thicker now. Yeah, bud. So that was way wild. You're still smoking. That was way wilder. I think that toggle switch means traction control is ah. on, but I don't because at, as, as you stomp it, I don't feel anything adjusting Dude. itself. That was charging control off right now, for that sure. That was the toggle switch off, yeah. Okay, so that's charging control off because the marks on the floor are way... Yeah. No, this thing got much wilder on me. I, I, I saw it. <laughs> I saw so... it. Look look where you let go of the gas, bro. Over here. This is not the car stop. This is him letting off of the, of the uh, gas pedal. Right here. So sick, dude. Think that's enough. Let's get out of here. All right, our air suspension is dialed in. We went ahead and got it calibrated. All the new height sensors after I did my adjustments work perfectly. Um, we have our sit height, our ride height, and our, hey, let's get over this bump height set. But uh, I also have some actual drive select buttons, the mechanical ones, um, because just driving and adjusting right now, it's, it's a little bit much to switch between apps for the ride height, 
um, of the AccuAir and then the drive, whether you want to be in drive, neutral, or reverse. This lock switch that we got from Zero EV over in the UK is not going to work. Uh, it's latched as far as the signal that it puts out, and it does not have a neutral output signal. And I found a company that uh, makes custom billet buttons. So I went ahead and purchased parking, drive, neutral, reverse, and we're still going to use our GTR start button. I went and picked up a new shifter bezel and some other interior parts from 350Z SoCal. Uh, they are in Riverside, California. So let's go notch this thing so we can fit this thing in. Well, it's arts and crafts time for the 350EZ. Uh, Will has once again reprinted the control panel, which we're putting in the shift location, the factory bezel. All right, guys, that is all the time that we have for this week's episode. We got the air suspension knocked out. It's really smooth, and it's really nice to have that control of our ride height. Um, and we got the audio system started, and we got our shifter buttons started. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed all that work being done, and then you also enjoyed some of the ripping around that we were able to do this week. Uh, next week is audio system, final panel assembly of the inside of the car. We have a couple of surprises for you as far as the interior. Um, it's gonna really button up and make this interior very, very nice. and. Uh, I'm really gonna make this car shine. Please remember to like the video, subscribe to Throttle if you haven't already, and give us some comments, some feedback on this. Let us know how you guys think this build is coming along and, and to show some excitement because there's a lot happening over here. So we'll see you guys next time, thanks.